Cord Museum. Are you sure? That's good. That's good. You're so, not gonna get any smoother. So this oil, should I just dump it in my neighbor Ryan's yard? Yeah. Show. Good morning, Andy. Good morning, Bart. Uh, chilly morning, 49 in Jackson today. We'll have partly sunny skies and a high of 66. Uh, yesterday we got up to 69. Fall weather. It's here. It is for sure here. We had some sprinkles too. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, take a look outside at our hometown heating, cooling, and more sky cam. See how it looks. Oh, it looks beautiful out there. Mm -hmm. Every time I see those Nelson Towers, I think about Brandon and me, and when we saw that they were only $36,000 each, we were thinking about buying one. Yeah. But then found out the uh, homeowner's monthly is like 1000 bucks. <laughs> yeah, they've been listed as, uh, as low as $27,000, $28,000. Yeah, condo. Yeah. Yeah, Very cool. Condo. Thanks, condo to, uh, thanks to Hometown. Visit heatandcoolwithus.com. Uh, yesterday, the CDC uh, approved the vaccines so we can get those uh, boosters again, if you are waiting, uh, because we've been told to wait, and we have a new uh, booster, and we have shots now available right now for COVID, uh, flu, and RV, RSV or RVS? RSV. R RSV. Mm -hmm. RSV. So there. we can get avoid the triple-demic. The get triple your, uh, the triple sick, mm -hmm. the triple sickness. Yeah. I had a, I have a funny story from this morning. Oh, great. Yeah, I know. So um, you'll notice I'm wearing khaki pants. You might want to be on a two shot for this because you might want to see my pants, Austin. Mm -hmm. You'll notice I'm wearing khaki pants. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. My, uh, <laughs> my daughter also wears khaki pants. I had them both in the dryer this morning, fluffing them, if you will. Uh -huh. And I threw up a pair of pants, <laughs> threw up a pair of pants and like five minutes later, she screams down, Dad, do you have any of the new pants? These are Helen's. And I'm like, Helen's pants? Helen's? I had thrown her up my pants. She's wearing, she was wearing my pants. <laughs> why are you, why do you have a shot of my pants? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> God. Um, so my daughter was walking around with these pants on. Those pants? These pants. Did she realize they didn't fit? Yes. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on here? Who's Helen? A neighbor who loaned us some pants. <laughs> These wouldn't fit Helen. They're too big for Helen, of course. Jeez. You borrowed pants from a neighbor? Huh? They were school pants. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this will happen to you, Brandon, when you and your son wear jeans together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Is Helen a kid's name? Yes. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. I think Helen, <laughs> Helen's family's watching, so I might want to apologize. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Have you heard about the MGM ransomware attack? No, I have not. Google it. Look it up. Okay. Huh. All these people are going nuts. Sunday, they got hit with a ransomware attack, and 12 of their resorts have had to shut down some of the operations. Good. <laughs> All ru You've stayed here. Okay. So I want, what would you do if you were there and this happened? They are checking people out with pen and paper. Wow. No ATM. You, I mean, half the slots don't work. Mm. It's crazy. You know how big that place is. Could you imagine having to... Bedlam. Oh, my God. How do the key cards work? Key cards don't work. Oh, no. No. They, have, they ha actually had a plan in place. They have physical keys. So physical, mm. not digital. We should go back to that. Uh, yeah, so big uh, news. Yeah, we have a relative in the whole hotel industry. They have to redo their hotels like every four or five years. Mm -hmm. with the, with put new things on every single door. Mm -hmm. Just go back to the keys. No, because when you lose it, it's a big cost to replace. No, that's Plus, you could get the key 
Huh? Car keys too. Come back. Car keys. Bring the car yeah. keys back. When I bought my used car, it only came with one key, and I've been able to not lose it for wow. over three years. So, I had a cool, uh, cool opportunity last night. Went to the Vietnam Veterans Chapter 109. We were able to uh, present uh, a donation uh, on behalf of uh, the Bailey Fest. Oh wow, that's cool. Yeah, it was very cool. I had not been in there before. Uh, Mark Konopaki also made a donation from one of his company's veterans, uh, Sewer and Drain. Uh, a lot of these uh, fine gentlemen here got to ride in the Huey helicopter um, at the air show. And I want to thank Roger and Tina Lindsay from Hometown Heating, Cooling, and More. Roger and Tina paid for quite a few of those Huey rides for those veterans. And Roger would probably get mad if I said it, but I want to acknowledge them. Um, it meant a great deal to those guys. Uh, I would talk to one, one gentleman last night. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I, was, I hadn't been on one of those in 55 years. Wow. You know, it's just crazy. Kind so of hearing the they story. flew on them in Vietnam? Correct. Wow. Yeah, I think so. So amazing. Yeah, so it was cool. And uh, thank you again to all of our veterans. Yeah, well, it was that um, Bailey 50th anniversary mm -hmm. party that... Uh, served as a fundraiser for so many community organizations, yeah. including the uh, Vietnam veterans. Yeah, so it's nice to be able to uh, start handing out some of that uh, some of that money, which is great. Cool. Very good. Uh, the Detroit Auto Show, it's moved, you know, it's now. now. It's in the fall. Oh, I think, isn't, yeah, we it's, have It's right now. Yeah, okay, yeah. good. It's, well, last night, you know, they had a big, big charity preview and everything. Uh, and Ford unveiled their F-150, mm. 2024 F-150. And they came up with a, a brilliant idea, and uh, the engineers hung out at Lowe's and Home Depot and Ace Hardware for months, and they watched consumers load up their trucks, and they saw that they needed to do something about the tailgate, and they <laughs> did. Now it has a refrigerator-style opening. Oh. That was my idea. Really? So, yeah. So it, it was mainly because they were watching people struggle with uh, getting stuff into the uh, back of the truck. So they now have a refrigerator style tailgate. That can't be the only truck with one of those. Mm. What about those Rivians? Rivians. Those now, electric trucks. And, and you can open them with a, a trailer a on them too. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. Now that's handy there. Yeah. Very handy. We should get one of those for our new trailer that we got. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. How much is the price point on those? Uh, they range from 40, <laughs> 40. to 110,000. 40. 110,000. 40, they don't start at 40. They range. The, you is it true that version. starting vehicle prices don't include tires? And, is that true? <laughs> Probably. Well, I mean, I, I don't, know. don't think there's a base model of that for 40,000. That's anywhere. what they're saying. Okay. 40 to 110. 110 for a pickup truck. <laughs> Pretty soon you'll pay 150 for an F-150. I know someone that's oh. paid 185 for one. Really? Oh yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. I'd be afraid to drive Same. and park it. Mm. Same. Also, uh, you know what they announced yesterday? New iPhones. Mm. Yours, you just got one. Which is fine because <laughs> I won't. I don't like to get them all the time. I will have. I will hope to have this one for five years. Yeah. Condolence to anyone who just uh, has uh, the iPhone 14. That's you, me. Yeah, you no longer will have the newest. Cool. And you're going to need a different charger. Oh, yeah, of course. Because, yeah, so the old, uh, the current, you know, the secret uh, Apple chargers. They just changed them. No, they won't. The EU is mandating uh, universal uh, phone chargers, so <laughs> the USB-C port is the new standard for the iPhone. So you won't have, uh, so it'll charge anything. Okay. So they're mandating that in Europe. I now. think that's great. All and chargers should be the same. They're taking the mute button off. My favorite button on the phone, the mute. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know why they're doing that. I hadn't heard that. Hmm. High School Football Live this weekend presented by Avenue Auto. We have the Pink Viking game. Jackson High will be home. We have them live. Coverage at 645. And our other game will be Manchester at Napoleon. And uh, you can watch all that this weekend on JTV. Have you heard about this escaped killer in Pennsylvania? I can't get enough of this. <laughs> Why can't they catch him? This guy is smart. I mean, how did he get... He got around 800 officers. Yeah. He uh, did the um, crab walk to get out of prison. He did. And uh, they can't find him. Well, and he's been spotted. He, he broke into... Uh, 
a homeowner's garage and stole a loaded rifle that was just laying in the garage. Now, I think the homeowner is in cahoots. Mm -hmm. it, who just leaves a loaded rifle? In well, I know this, uh, the escapee, he visited, tried to go into one of his old co-workers' house, and he appeared clean-shaven, yeah. looked different. Um, I don't know, he seems uh, like an easy guy to catch. He you doesn't think. He doesn't look like... You know, no, everyone. he That's keeps changing stupid. clothes. He steals boots off porches. You know, people, work, workmen leave their boots on the porch uh, at night for some reason. And then, because uh, uh, the mm -hmm. Mrs. Homeowner doesn't want the boots in the house, but he steals the boots off the porch. He's been stealing perhaps clothes off the clotheslines, if that's still a thing. Mm -hmm. Brandon, do you leave your boots on the uh, porch <laughs> as not to track in mud? 100%. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some people do it. Very good. Uh, but the police there, they're, they're, uh, it's not a good look for them. They're going to need to find this guy pretty soon, yeah. too. And he is a, he's a murderer. Twice. Yeah. Okay. So we need to find this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, the ORS Oktoberfest run is coming up. There's a kid's superhero run. There's a 10K and 5K run and walk. And it should be a busy, fun day downtown on September 30th. I think even Blackstone Steel is playing at Grand River Brewery, mm -hmm. and there will be a beer mile and a kids run and, and the Chili Classic in Fall Fest. A sausage eating contest. Really? Yes. You know, I, I I've judged the Chili Classic for yeah. the last three years. I haven't been asked. Uh, I hope I'm. I may decline if I am asked. I may decline. I, I've done it a couple. Of, it's yeah. hard job. I, I have a stomach ache still from that. <laughs> from the uh, white chicken chili. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, um, those. remember those blue and white license plates? I do. Um, that we had, I, I didn't realize it was this long ago, but it was 1983 to 2007. Really? Yes, uh, yesterday Senator McMorrow uh, introduced legislation that would resurrect this classic license plate and the black one. I never saw the black yeah, one. Yeah, from 1979. I'd get that. Uh, yeah, and they're doing it because, and the Department of State is, is uh, actually, they want this to happen. And then the money, instead of going to a, a whatever, the DNR fund, or they, they go to the roads, to Ooh. the construction of the roads. The yes. roads. The roads. So. Do they still make these over at the prison? I don't know. Was your generation complaining about the roads 40 years ago? Do you remember? Everyone did. It's, all, it's just nonstop. We all, always complained about the roads. Unless. Mm. Oh, breaking news. The prisoner was captured. Just now? Just now. But it's got a breaking news just now. Break, breaking Brandon. news? Yeah. Do you, have, do you have any details on that, Brandon? Uh, he was, was he, I bet he was at a Denny's. Probably. The guy's got to eat. Probably. He's, oh. Good. Well, I'm glad that's over. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness. Thank yeah. goodness. Yep, Danilo Cavalcante is now back in custody. If you're a golf fan and you want to check out the Jackson Golf Hall of Fame room and induction ceremony, no better time than this Sunday, 1.30, when the Hall of Fame will induct Doug Hansen. Again, that's at 1.30, and that ceremony is open to the public. <coughs> so uh, join us. Can you golf in the Hall of Fame <coughs> uh, tournament? No. No? No. But you can. I can. Yeah, I'm golfing with um, Jeff Steers, Phil Fishmeister, and Parker Rich. I don't know why I'm clapping. <laughs> I don't either. Same team as last year. So, very, very exciting. The, uh, coming up this Saturday, too, is, this is a very, very busy Saturday. The uh, Jackson Hispanic Heritage Festival mm -hmm. is coming up. <coughs> and uh, it was a great first year last year. And uh, this year is going to be even better. So visit their Facebook page. It's right here, downtown Jackson. And it is all free. Come check it out. There'll be music, food, vendors, all kinds of stuff. And it is family friendly. Hmm. Yeah, it was awesome last year. It's going to be even more awesome this year. It's longer, for one thing. They've got more food vendors because uh, the, the food was so popular, the mm -hmm. lines were long. So now there'll be plenty of food for uh, everyone. Yeah. Uh, from the police blotter, City of Jackson Police Officer Jones took a report of a 16-year-old male runaway. Officer Justice took a report of a 17-year-old female runaway. 
Do you, does I, I'm suggesting Officer Jones and Officer, Officer Justice compare notes. I have a question. Does there say anything about a school bus in there? No. Okay. Because yesterday, Noah sent me a picture of a school bus possibly being pulled over. By a runaway? Not by a runaway. I just don't know. Maybe the runaway was there. I don't know. We'll look into this. There's been a lot of activity. Hmm. So I've never seen a school bus get pulled over, so that's why I didn't know if that was in the blotter. No, I've never seen a school bus pulled over either. Okay. I would think if you want to evade the police, school bus would be the way to go. <laughs> okay, well, noted. Uh, have you seen any flamingos lately? Not since I was in Vegas last. Remember uh, Hurricane, what was that uh, hurricane we just had? Uh, Idalia. Uh, Idalia. 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 Apparently, Hurricane Idalia has blown these flamingos up and down the East Coast. They usually live in the very south, and but they've been spotted uh, recently in Alabama, North Carolina, Ohio, what? Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Texas, and Virginia. The birds were, um, according to experts, <coughs> flying between Cuba and Mexico when they were blown off course by Hurricane Idalia. Really? Wow. So don't be surprised if uh, mm. Pink Lawn Flamingo shows up on your lawn. That'd be very nice. That'd be a treat. They be probably a... couldn't survive. Yeah, uh, I don't think so. Uh, they are beautiful, though. Yeah. Our show today brought to you by Vermeulen's Home Furnishings. They're in their third generation of being family-owned and operated. Thank <coughs> you to Vermeulen's. Did you go to Food Truck Tuesday I yesterday? drove up and down the street about four or five times. The final Food Truck Tuesday was... Uh, Yesterday at Horace Blackman Park, Tiki Sam, always a uh, popular uh, fixture at these uh, events. And we had a lot of choices and a lot of turnout. A lot of turnout. This for has been just great for downtown Jackson over the last few years. Uh, it, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, there's a consumer's energy uh, employee looking happy with his food. Everybody Pretty looks happy, happy with their food. food. The um, number of food trucks that we have in Jackson is amazing. Ten years ago, we had maybe one. Years and years and years ago, uh, there was the uh, egg roll wagon in Albion, and that's all we had. Remember the egg roll wagon? I remember uh, Hot Diggity Dog. Do you remember Hot <laughs> no, Diggity Dog? No, I don't. You don't? The one gal with the food cart. Oh, yeah, down on uh, the corner. Yeah, that was the yeah. original. That was the original. Yeah. Hot Diggity dog. Mm -hmm. Can't remember that gal's name. Oh, Jake. Oh, there's Chris on. Paul. Oh, no, that's the guy that's in the commercials with Chris yeah. Paul. Okay. Mm -hmm. State Farm commercials. Hey, let's get to our scoreboard presented by Extreme Dodge. Check out their uh, brand new building. It's beautiful. And the highway is open, so you can get right off the exit and right over to Extreme. Volleyball action. Michigan Center over Columbia. Concord swept Quincy. Grass Lake swept Jonesville. Addison over Hanover Horton, 3-1. Tecancha beat Jackson Christian, 3-2. Napoleon over Leslie, 3-1. And Cranbrook, 3, Lumen Christie, 0. Do you know what the tuition is at Cranbrook? 80000 yeah, That's probably close enough. Boys soccer, I think it's closer to 60. Uh, Harper Creek, 2, Northwest, 1. Boys tennis, Western... Six Northwest two and Hillsdale beat Columbia uh, five to three. These are JTV Sports file photos. File photos. Yes, thank you. Uh, college events: uh, Lake Michigan beat Jackson in volleyball three one. In soccer, Kellogg Community College beat Jackson three one. Spring Arbor beat Lindsey Wilson ten to nothing. This is a real photo from last night. Yeah, it's a nice photo. Ten nothing. Lindsey Wilson, that's a long bus ride home. Uh, volleyball tonight, coming up. Coming up, we've got a lot going on. Northwest at Penfield, cross country, Jackson's on the road, boys soccer, Grass Lake and Manchester at home. And then we've got girls golf, the Lady Vikings are hosting at Sharp Park. Western hosts tennis and uh, Spring Arbor and Jackson College both hosting their men's teams tonight. Women's volleyball, Spring Arbor on the road at Taylor. And that's all available on our website as well, the Extreme Dodge Scoreboard and on deck. Thank you to JTV Sports, Jeff who's, Steers. Who's on the show today? We have with us Dr. Andrew Duda, and he will join us right after this break.
the Green Market at Henry Ford and its many vendors want to thank our wonderful patrons for their many years of support. And we look forward to seeing you all again soon in the lot across Michigan Avenue from Henry Ford Health. The Green Market providing you and your family with healthy fresh food. Collins Brothers Floor Covering has been serving the Jackson community for over 80 years. We specialize in residential and commercial projects and offer a full range of flooring materials from carpet to luxury vinyl. With endless colors, styles, and patterns to choose from, we can complement the look of any room. Quality products at the best value and customer satisfaction are guaranteed when you choose Collins Brothers Floor Covering. Contact Collins Brothers Floor Covering and see how we can personalize your project today. In schools today, the traditional classroom setting creates an environment where students learn and progress at a steady, standard pace. For many students, this works well. For others, however, not so much. Fortunately, there's another option. South Central Michigan Virtual is a tuition-free K-12 online academy created to break away from the standard conventions of learning. Real people, real relationships, real schooling. At Hometown Heating, Cooling, and More, we know how important family is. That's why we've been a family-owned and operated business since 2009. As an authorized Daikin dealer, we're dedicated to providing the best heating and cooling services for your family's comfort. So, don't sweat the heat or shiver in the cold. Let our family keep yours cozy all year long. Our show today is brought to you by Professional Tree Care. Call the experts today. I've still seen a lot of uh, tree limbs around that probably should get uh, thrown in the mulcher. You wouldn't believe how quickly they can come take care of your yard. Also, it's a great time for seasonal preventative maintenance to get some of that uh, the tree, some of the trees and shrubs away from your house. Give them a call today. The MDOC is hiring, and they are hiring right here and right now. Immediate openings. Great pay and benefits, and they will even pay you while you train. Visit michigan.gov slash MDOC jobs. Our first guest on the show today is the medical director for Henry Ford Hospice Home, Dr. Andrew Duda. Welcome to the show. Morning. Thank, thank you. Good morning. First time here. First time here. Great. You've been uh, in Jackson for about 10 years, right? About 10 years now, yes. Yeah. How do you like it so far? Call it home. Yeah, it's yeah. perfect. It's wonderful. Yeah. The uh, hospice home, what an uh, asset uh, to mm -hmm. our community. Um, it's a physical uh, place mm -hmm. that people uh, that are in the last stages of life mm -hmm. are uh, cared for, and it's kind of hidden. It is. It is. So hospice home is uh, a, a part of our entire hospice um, program at Henry Ford, um, and it is a facility that's located just off of 127 Springport Road, um, west of the highway, mm -hmm. north of Springport Road, about two, two three blocks down the street. Uh, 20 beds, uh, individual rooms, um, and just a, just a gem mm -hmm. hidden in the woods, yeah. uh, beautiful surroundings. Are there similar hospice homes in this area? So the Henry Ford Hospice Home is actually the only non-for-profit hospice facility in this area wow. and one of the few left in the state. Really? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. We're lucky. Yeah, we are lucky. And you say 20 beds, what if it's uh, fall or what if uh, someone doesn't want to leave their home? So it, as part of the entire hospice program with our health system, we also offer both hospital uh, hospice care and in-home hospice care. And that in-home hospice care can be at the person's home, uh, if they're at one of our local skilled nursing facilities or uh, assisted living facilities, that care is available to them mm -hmm. there as well. 
How's uh, hospice care different from palliative care that someone might have? Sure, so the, the common misconception is that they're very similar. Um, and their, their similarities are really only focused on the time of life that mm. they're, they're given. That's about where they end. Mm. Uh, hospice care is really focused on the last six months, maybe slightly longer, maybe less of life and really focused on comfort and dignity mm -hmm. and, and just quality of life at the end. Yeah. Um, palliative services, which we also offer both in our community and in our hospital, are focused more you know, a couple of years prior to that for the individual that might have a medical condition that is, is not gonna get better mm -hmm. and likely to cause them ER visits and hospitalizations and they mm -hmm. just don't wanna do that anymore. Yeah. So they try whatever they can to stay out of the yeah. hospital. It seems like uh, you can have a very hard, difficult job at times. Uh, obviously, I've been in some hospice homes and, you know, see what, see what goes on there. Talk about the care that the families receive as well. Sure, sure. So yeah, de death and dying is difficult. It is for everyone. And, and I think that's, that focus and, and knowledge of our team and having their compassionate and, and caring backgrounds um, really helps and, and our team is really what the patient receives mm -hmm. when they come on hospice. Um, we have our, our, our RNs, our, our registered nurses, who are there 24-7 at our hospice home and available 24-7 for our home hospice patients. Mm -hmm. Our um, certified nurse assistants, our CNAs, um, social workers, chaplains, uh, bereavement counseling is available during and after for over a year mm. uh, after the person passes for the family. Wow. What are some of the common misconceptions or concerns about this type of care? So I, I think the big one is that you come on hospice um, and, and we, we make you die. Okay. And that sounds grim, but that unfortunately is, is not the case. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, medical, the medical process that's going on is what's, what's doing that. Mm -hmm. and, and what we're here for is just to help, help ma maintain comfort, help maintain dignity. And, and really do it with a, with a true compassion that might not be available in other healthcare service lines. Yeah, when uh, my mom passed away last year, uh, we signed up for mm -hmm. hospice care uh, toward the end, but there wasn't a place. Mm -hmm. There was mm -hmm. one person who was responsible for a wide geography, yeah. and we had to wait. Mm -hmm. And it was, and, and you just don't realize how how great we have it here, mm -hmm. uh, and that was in a big metropolitan area. Yeah, was, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for so, sure. It's, yeah. Uh, it's important. What do you find most rewarding uh, about your role in hospice care, Doc? Sure, so, you know, it, the difficult nature of dealing with death and dying is, is, is hard, and, and seeing the team that we have provide care with such compassion and grace mm -hmm. is, is just hugely rewarding. And, you know, I had a, this question's always asked, and I had a very, very, very good mentor back in the day that, that told me once that he felt the only thing or one of the things we did really well in healthcare was take away the good, good ability to die or die well. Mm. And I think hospice really brings that back. Mm. It gives you the opportunity to, to rest, try to be comfortable. It gives your family the opportunity to be your family and not your caregiver. Mm -hmm. and, and really just focuses on you as you pass into the next, next stage. Mm. It's a beautiful facility. It's it doesn't feel like a hospital uh, no, setting. No. It's uh, you, you've really made uh, made it feel very comforting for not just the patients uh, but but the families. Right. So what's the what's the ex what is the experience? So so the experience it, it can start really anywhere. It could start at home. It could start in the hospital. Um, it could you can be referred by yourself or a family member. Um, you know, my, my job is to ensure that the medical condition the person is, is dealing with is terminal. Um, and then de depending on what your needs are and where you want to be and how you want to mm -hmm. design this, this care plan for yourself, we either keep you at home and work with you there, or we bring you into the hospice home, um, get you into one of the, one of the 20 rooms. Mm -hmm. Um, all beautiful views there. Our RNs are there 24-7 to take care of you. Um, and I, I would be really remiss if I didn't mention a fantastic culinary staff that mm -hmm. probably rivals some of your neighbors across the street. <laughs> here, so. uh, but uh, everything is there. Uh, our chaplains play the guitar and love to sing. Yeah. We've got piano going. Um, 
it's, it's a quiet facility. It's mm -hmm. very peaceful, very calming. You said you had a great mentor. I'm wondering when you were in medical school, what path you thought you would go down and if it would be where you are today. So absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Those paths can change quite a bit. Yeah. Um, and, and that was one of the things uh, my, my mentors always told me was keep your eyes and ears open. You mm -hmm. never know what you're going to come across. And this was, uh, this was a blessing that was handed to me a few years back um, by Dr. Lake, who mm -hmm. was my predecessor in this role. And uh, it was, uh, it, it's been truly, truly wonderful to be part of. Mm -hmm. Well, we uh, appreciate having the Henry Ford Hospice Home and hospice care in our community, and we appreciate you coming in today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. It's a pleasure. I love what you guys do for the community. Thank, Thank you. you. It's wonderful. Dr. Andrew Duda, Medical Director at Henry Ford Hospice Home. More of the morning show right after this. I know pain, the one that starts at your ankles, settling in your back, keeping you from competing. Sydney, 2000, preparing to compete, my leg wouldn't move, my dream interrupted. The team chiropractor knew exactly what to do. I went from out of the game to in competition in three days. Today, I am a chiropractor, relieving the pain, enhancing performance. Go to beyondthepain.org to find a chiropractor or learn how to become one. To perform your best, high school athletes and their families can receive a complimentary consultation by visiting docpen.com. At Consumers Energy, we believe change is preparing. Preparing for the worst by putting to work the very best. Change is improving by replacing utility poles and redesigning our substations. Change is commitment. Commitment to upgrading 1,000 miles of our energy grid every year. And change is confidence. The confidence of knowing when it comes to keeping the lights on, we're always on. Consumers Energy, a force for you, a force of change. Asthma Allergy Centers can help you breathe freely. Since 1980, our board certified specialists have provided testing and treatment for a wide variety of asthma and allergy related conditions, including immunodeficiencies and skin problems. No referrals are necessary, and we accept any insurance or no insurance. You can even use our mobile app to check in and pay. Come see us at our Jackson office or one of our multiple offices in Southwest Michigan. The secret is out. Jackson is a great place to live, work, and raise a family. We are people with community pride, school spirit, and deep roots. The secret is out. Jackson has great parks, home to some of the best golf in the country, and boasts more lakes than you can count. With unique, locally owned shops and restaurants, we have a little something for everyone. Hey Jackson, the secret is out. The Heather Herndon team with Howard Hanna Real Estate Services, serving the Jackson community since 2005. You can see it in our smile, service that is second to none, the kind of personal treatment you would expect from your own family. Brown's Advanced Care Pharmacy has been taking care of the Jackson community for nearly 60 years. Whether it's your prescriptions, medical supplies, hearing aids, or over-the-counter products, you're treated like one of our own. Because at Brown's Advanced Care Pharmacy, your health and well-being, it's a family thing. Brown's Advanced Care Pharmacy, a good neighbor pharmacy. Locally owned, locally operated, locally loved. St. John's School is celebrating 150 years. Mass on uh, Friday 9 a.m. will be live streamed. There's a reception to follow at the St. John's gym, and uh, reception is sponsored by the Quillen family. There's an LC football game, and they're going to recognize all of the St. John's football alumni that are still with us, so that should be pretty cool. Congratulations to St. John's on 150 years. And later today, we'll have more on that. Uh, Father Chaz Kanoi will be with us and uh, others on the uh, show this afternoon. Next, we welcome from Christoph and Sons Floor Covering, Ted Christoph, and new kitchen and bath specialist and interior designer, Pam Frederick. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Good. 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 Fantastic. Is, is it area rug swap out season? Yes, I noticed it is. that this morning <laughs> when I walked out of the house. We need all new area rugs because it feels like in the summer we get them dirty. That's right. Yeah, yeah. we huh. got uh, we have 
had a sale on all our spring stuff because okay. we're bringing all our fall ones out. Yeah, I need some area rugs, sorry. Good, good selection, come on down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, it's amazing how many area rugs. That's, I think, one of the biggest surprises that uh, people encounter when they come into your store is how many area rugs you carry in mm -hmm. stock. Oh, thank, thank you, you. Yeah. thank you. It's a giant yeah. thing. I love it. That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. fun to play with. So, Pam, kitchen and bath. Yes. Oh, gosh. Where do, where do you even start? Now, you've been doing this for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, talk a little bit about the process when you're working with a homeowner on, uh, on kitchen and bath design. Um, what I like to do is definitely, I think you always have to go out to the home. Yeah. You know, you can't just work off of measurements that get brought to you. I mean, you have to get a feel for how they live. Mm -hmm. Um, what they want, style, you know, you don't want to put a gray kitchen in a traditional house. Right. You know, you want to incorporate all everything that they need. Mm -hmm. um, traffic pattern, functionality, how the family functions, it all comes into play. In the kitchen, what do you think is the most important feature? Is it the countertop, cabinets? Good point. Good question. Yeah, um, I would say cabinetry. Yeah. I mean, you can get a good, a good quality cabinet, in, but have a lot of different budgets. Mm -hmm. Um, that's where it starts. I mean, there's yeah. so many different countertop options, floor options, but um, I think the cabinets are the key. Yeah. What's the appropriate number of junk drawers you should have? <laughs> I have four. Um, One you more. have four? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I think uh, placement, too, because uh, yeah. our silverware drawer is right at the prep counter, and we're always you know, moving people out of mm -hmm. the way yeah. to get the knives and... Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, I mean, you have to think of everything, right? I oh, mean, you're yeah. in a, a beautiful new kitchen, um, you know, that take, it takes time, right? It takes it time does. to pick out every little detail. It does. There's it. several steps in the process. I mean, um, definitely starting out with a, a good concept mm -hmm. is where we go. Um, after we've got the concept, then we um, definitely pull in the appliances. You know, there's a lot of gourmet cooks out there that want, um, you know, the high-end professional appliances. But yet, on the flip side of it, I've done many kitchens where they don't use the appliances. They're just for show. This is beautiful yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, this is great. You can see how in a, a well-designed kitchen, you can bring in many different textural elements. Um, quartz countertops, wood tops are very popular. Um, I like to bring in, like, this is a, a, a Tudor home that we did a remodel on. And this, I wanted to stay true to the character of the house, but yet make it current um, with today's um, designs. Um, mixing colors, you've got the traditional cherry on the bottom, but yet we brought in more of a creamier white up top. Just lightens and brightens, but stays true to the character. You really the you really have to to know what you're doing to, de oh. to design a kitchen. I'm looking at flooring in some of these, and one thing I like about your website is you can actually see what some of the flooring would look yeah. like in your existing home. So through the app, um, but colors. I mean, this is mm -hmm. not everyone's wheelhouse. You have to trust the expert. Oh yeah, it's a fun process. I, w I would want to add, as we decided that we wanted to go into the kitchen and bath uh, industry mm -hmm. and start offering cabinets, I realized we needed absolutely good talent and we have that. Um, and adding Pam here in the last few months has just elevated our experience to beyond over the top. Um, it, she has helped us, our whole team, be able to take a holistic approach to your kitchen and bath mm -hmm. and to your home as well. Truly, a real design center right here in Jackson. When you yeah. think of um, good, innovative, and, and uh, uh, creative ideas for cabinets, countertops, windows, mm -hmm. uh, window treatments, lighting, sinks, faucets, yeah. wallpaper, mm -hmm. drapes, flooring. Yeah. It, it, the, she has the ability to bring it all together and uh, and the rest of the staff too so yeah. it's just for me um as our vision of growing christoph and sons as a design center i mean i, I can't tell you how happy we are yeah. uh, to have pam on our team it's amazing uh, building still feels brand new to me uh you have a very very large staff but when you walk into the showroom um you just get cre you get treated like family yes. oh goodness yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a great place to be mm. Yeah, look at this place. <coughs> cabinets. Um, it's not the cabinets aren't just for the kitchen. The bathrooms, laundry, yeah. uh, laundry rooms. Yep, laundry definitely. Rooms, entryways. Yep, and we're currently remodeling our kitchen and bath right now too. Uh, of course, we've got to get some new ideas. Always mm -hmm. staying fresh. We've redone some of our uh, bathroom showrooms. Done some of the laminate and LVT and ceramic tile. And now Pam has put together uh, two or three different kitchen uh, displays that mm -hmm. we are remodeling. 
Um, and, uh, and, and we do the 3D renditions mm -hmm. for you. Anyone who wants to dream and yep. see your kitchen yeah. before it actually exists, uh, that's how important it is. Just come in and, and meet with yeah. our designers. How about uh, bathrooms, Pam? Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe if you have a little bit of a lesser budget, but you can do so many things in a bathroom uh, because the square footage is so much smaller. You can yes. really go high end and not break the bank. Exactly. I mean, there's a lot of direction you can go. A lot of it comes into, we can do furniture looks with the vanity cabinetry. Um, I like to bring in everything that meshes together, uh, lighting, uh, faucets, um, shower doors, mm -hmm. and then the tiles. So what I like to do is just lay everything out for the customer so they get a full view of what the whole kitchen, or mm -hmm. excuse me, bathroom is going to look like. Yeah. Um, but it's a definitely it's a, a lot of options, which is fun. Kristoff's offers definitely. I was it's like a kid in a candy store. Yeah. You know, um, I love doing this, and I think that um, I'm at a place now definitely where I've got access to everything: That's tile, great. wood, countertops, cabinetry, um, wallpaper, everything. And these are a couple uh, new designs that will be in the showroom. Yes. Yep. Um, in the previous picture, we um, had our vanity section uh, mosaic tile area. But what we're going to do is we're going to add some bigger displays so we can show a lot of different functions, um, all the components that come with cabinetry, um, and then color and texture. Um, just to add lighting, we also offer, um, we have access to a wonderful lighting options. So we're going to throw in pendant lights, um, stools. We have ex you know access to all of that. So that's kind of what the f it's a nice place. It's crazy place. Awesome. building all these kitchens in your in your showroom. Yeah. It's got to be surreal. It is. It is very <laughs> surreal. Yes. I'm going to. Uh, we should have dinner at one of those. <laughs> very nice. We, yeah, you could bring our food. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're planning on it. Yeah. yeah. I like. It's. That's what I want. People point yes. and that, the whole thing. They want the yeah. exact Just thing that you've got. Yeah, yeah. Right? and th that's the goal. I mean, not mm -hmm. only a beautiful kitchen, but a very functional kitchen. That's one of my biggest things. I just don't want to sell you the outside. I want every component um, to work the way it should work. Um, good traffic patterns, everything. This is what I want my laundry room to look like. It doesn't. <laughs> oh, is that beautiful? Yeah. Oh, that is nice. It is nice. It's just lacking all the clothes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> do you do laundry every day at your house? Yes. <laughs> Even with kids <laughs> gone. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. This is nice, but the space and the functionality, right? I mean, you've oh, got yeah. these shelves in here, so you don't, like you said, just leave stuff on the exactly, floor. Exactly, exactly. And this is, you know, this is definitely the Taj Mahal of laundry rooms. But it just shows you that no room has to lack in beauty and design. You know, you can add, you know, people are in there a lot during the day. They want it to be functional and fun. So. And like typical projects, uh, I, and I can tell you firsthand, we're um, starting our own in mm -hmm. our own house. We thought it's time to change our floors. <laughs> uh, they're 20 <laughs> years old, so maybe it's time. Which led to maybe we should change the countertop, then maybe the counter, the cabinets, and paint the house. And <laughs> you so knew I, that was going to happen. I knew it was, mm -hmm. but we had Pam over, and uh, and she just gave us an approach uh, that I didn't even think about. Well, what about this buffet? Why don't we create one? What are, mm -hmm. what are you doing with this laundry room? It's right here. Mm -hmm. Let's let's incorporate and put the two together. She gave us the, the 3D designs, and uh, we're just like a customer. Yeah. Um, it's, it's so exciting. You don't know, see the, the transformation of the home that you're in, yeah. and, and can't wait to see how it's all going to work out. But it now will all yeah. flow together, and it's more than just getting one part. Yeah. It's a holistic approach at, at designing your home. Yeah. So it's exciting. exciting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do people have ideas that you have to talk them out of? <laughs> um, yes, yes, there's always those. Yeah. Um, my goal is to not uh, to explain the proper way. It, you know, just explain why their first thought might not be mm -hmm. the best thought. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, which the way the refrigerator door opens. Yeah. That's I mean, so you important. have to think about all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. for sure. Yeah, and that was a conversation yeah. we had. Yes. Sometimes <laughs> people, sometimes people will redo a kitchen or redo parts get to get a house ready to sell. Yes, that's where you could come in and say, well, you might not yes. want to go too bold or too extreme. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. And and that particular type of client, just a few little subtle touches. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe a open display cabinet in just the right spot that. It doesn't add anything to the budget, but yet gets that new buyer's attention. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, stop by Kristoff and Sons and uh, ask for Pam and uh, hopefully get a new kitchen soon. I'm anxious to see what yours looks like. Yes. That'll be cool. Yes. <laughs> thank you both so much yeah, for being you. with us today. Ted Kristoff and Pam Frederick from 
Kristoff and Sons floor covering. More of the morning show right after this. Cherry Creek Cellars, nestled in the heart of the Irish Hills in Brooklyn, is the perfect place to enjoy handcrafted Michigan wines, hard ciders, and craft beers in a picturesque vineyard setting. Grab a bite to eat in our cafe with a variety of delicious menu items to choose from. Indoor and outdoor seating is available, including space in our old schoolhouse, perfect for a fabulous dining experience. No matter the season, we've got something fun in store for you including hosting your next big event with us. Flexible, customizable options available for any occasion. And be sure to check out our Facebook page for upcoming events year-round. Cherry Creek Cellars. We believe in wine that tastes incredible. In Jackson County, adults with developmental disabilities often don't get opportunities for social interaction within their community. Positive experiences in their community can lead to lasting relationships and increased confidence. Club Life is on a mission to engage, enrich, and empower adults with developmental disabilities through a social club, a wellness club, and a travel club. Participants will discover new potentials and be engaged in Jackson through outings and enrichment activities. Check out our events on our website, theclublife.org. At Michigan Center Schools, we guide every student in the direction of their dreams. We believe that when our students feel loved and respected, there's no limit to what they can accomplish. We offer fantastic facilities, academic excellence, one-to-one -one technology, and multi-tiered social-emotional supports. We believe we get the most out of our students when we prioritize relationships above all else. Michigan Center Schools, where your kids are our family. These are unprecedented times, challenging how the YMCA works to strengthen community as we have for nearly 170 years. But we've always found ways to help people and communities in times of crisis. Right now, Ys across the country are providing emergency childcare, shelter, food programs, and outreach to seniors, but we can't do it alone. Whether you're connected to the Y or have a fond Y memory, we need you to stay with us. Reach out to your local Y today and stay with us for a better us. If you're looking for a high quality, affordable alternative to the emergency room, then come to IEP Urgent Care's new location in Jackson. It's the same great ER physicians who have been providing care through our local hospitals since 2008, but now with a new location to serve you better. Our ER trained providers believe high quality care is for everyone, so we work with all insurances, including Medicaid and Medicare. Come see us on East Michigan Ave. Our show today is brought to you by Wilcox Lawn and Landscaping. Give them a call for all of your fertilizer or lawn care needs or get a sprinkler system installed before winter. Thanks to Wilcox Lawn and Landscaping for helping us bring you today's show. Joining us now is uh, one of the publishers of JAX, the Jackson Area Collaborative Knowledge Source, celebrating its 100th issue this week, Stephanie Riggs. Hi. Congrats. Congrats. Yeah, Congratulations. very cool, isn't it? I mean, yeah. congrats goes to Morgan. I mean, she's plugged along with this yeah. for many years. Yeah, talk a little bit about uh, kind of how this started and, and where we are today. Well, it started when she was 14 looking for a job. Your daughter. Yes, my daughter. My, um, well, she's 23 as of Monday. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so it is crazy. But yeah, she started when she was 14, wanted a job, didn't fit in with volleyball and National Honor Society and, you know, dual enrollment and all that cool oh, stuff. Oh, I'm in there. Oh, you're in yeah. there. I'm you're in there. I'm in there twice. Yeah. Twice. Yeah. Look at that. So oh. I said, well, let's start a paper. And, you know, I had a little That's bit cool. of experience with newspapers <laughs> and so did my husband. So um, I had run into a lot of issues with things that we were submitting for press releases, mm -hmm. not showing up in the paper with the mm -hmm. Alzheimer's Walk and yeah. Kiwanis and Rose Festival and Women's Leadership mm -hmm. and all of those really awesome organizations promoting yeah. really cool things. And um, no one was publishing it. Yeah. So we're like, well, let's, let's make it. our own. 
and, and it we'll says, publish it. It says free on the top. It is free. Yes, we don't charge for papers. We get them in more than 100 businesses. Great. Before COVID, they went home from school with every elementary school child, but you know now that things have shifted mm -hmm. with digital and papers and all of that. But um, so we added more businesses to the list. Yeah, it's a it's a beautiful yeah, cover. They're here yeah. at JTV. Yes, right. they are at JTV. They're I know they're here. We have your picture. Yeah, uh, I know. <laughs> one of the ads. Make sure you get both of the pictures, Brandon. I'm in two. <laughs> <laughs> two of the pictures. Two of the pictures. Two yeah. of the pictures. Um, Somebody here designed that lovely ad. Beautiful. Yeah. I think it was Bart. Might have been. Beautiful. You've had uh, three contributors from the start of this. Thing, we right? have. Three That's consistent. the cool thing That's about cool. this is we don't write it. Right. So occasionally Morgan will write an article in the front. Savannah, my other daughter, who's 15 now, she's written a couple of articles just to mm -hmm. um, have a part in it. But yeah, we, we don't write anything. It's a collaborative knowledge source. So everyone gets to write and tell their own story, and who better to tell our story than us? And I remember when this started. Um, yep. Yep. Uh, Morgan was in uh, high school, and her boyfriend Evan would drive the uh, papers around. Yep. And guess what? Evan's still on the scene. Evan's still on the scene. Evan has. I was going to say, I hope you knew that. Before yeah. You just oh went yeah, into he did. That. Know. Jeez. <laughs> he has a big boy job now. He works for a finance company in Williamston after graduating from um, college at SAU. But so Savannah now helps with delivery. Mm -hmm. So Morgan drives, or Savannah did this last time because she has a permit now. Oh Holy my cow! Goodness. I know, isn't that <laughs> insane? But um, so one of them drives and one of them runs the papers in. So yeah, it's just the same. It was always a little crew. It, her friend um, Justin Pariso helped sell ads at one point, did delivery at one point. So it's it's been a young person yeah. project That's with pretty, some guidance. Cool. Yeah. How uh, how often does the publication come out? It's a monthly. Monthly. Yeah, and it stays in like uh, it's at our dentist office. It's at Brent mm -hmm. Chiropractic. So people pick it up, they may read it, and then fold it up, yeah. put it back down. Mm -hmm. Some people leave yeah. with it, so you can find them i found them laying all over the place it's kind of cool yeah. yeah it's high quality uh print job it's in full color and it just it really looks nice yeah we um like i said craig was a pressman journeyman mm -hmm. pressman or yeah. morgan's dad my husband so he has a little experience with that and the really cool ironic thing is the gentleman that's head of this press department at this newspaper craig trained so, huh, really? Yeah, it's kind wow. of fun. Let's take a look at some covers over the uh, yeah, years. Yeah, you can this see the, the logos changed some. Yep. And this is Home Builders Association. Um, people can buy the cover if they want to make sure that they're on it. Oh, so cool. that is one way that you can do it. Um, or if no one has bought the cover, we choose a really um, interesting subject that has an article inside. Andy, have you been on the cover? I have not. No. I don't know. We might have to get Andy on I there. I have not been on the cover. Yeah. You really haven't run out of things to write about. There really never is. Never That's is. A, <laughs> it's amazing. It could be. We've had up to 16 pages. This one's a 12. Mm -hmm. But depending on what people submit, that's what we print. And people say, what's the word count? And we don't usually add it up. Mm -hmm. We'll rearrange advertising to get the, to yeah. fit in. Yeah. And it's it, because it's free, it's advertiser supported. Mm -hmm. It is. There's no uh, paywall or subscription. No. Or, yeah. no, the ads are $10 a column inch. They've been that way for eight and a half years. We didn't need to raise the price. The whole point of the product is, is to be able to put it out there, mm -hmm. pay Morgan, pay the printer, pay for the software and this yeah. type of stuff to do it, and that's it. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be a big, you know, it's not supporting anyone. Right. So. Yeah. Was just this, has to pay for itself. <laughs> is, is this uh, surpassing uh, expectations? I think so, yeah. I guess I didn't really anticipate it mm -hmm. going on and on and on. And, but that's okay. I mean, right. um, it's sort of modeled after, remember, old Kids in Common mm -hmm. with Phil and Shannon Rosinski in the Toy House? Oh, my God. They started one years ago with my assistance. And then when it went away, I'm like, we, we don't have anything to share. Yeah community resources with and so yeah people and people still like to pick something up do. and read it yeah working yeah. at the ymca i feel the rack that we've placed there three times at least three times yeah. a month so i watch them leave yeah. and it's like okay this yeah, is really good. cool they're picking them up they're taking them with them 
So, and now Morgan, she's been picking up a few hours there in between her master's classes. And um, she'll be like, oh, rack's empty, mom. Grab some papers on your way in. Nice. So. I give her a lot of credit yeah. for uh, sticking up out through all the college she's now uh, she's now a, a master student at wow UNM. that's amazing yeah so she did 100 issues, 100 yeah, issues. she's done them at she's done them in florida while she's been cheering on the sau baseball <laughs> team when evan was playing on the team so she's done them in tennessee she's done them in florida <laughs> you name it i mean that's the great thing with the digital age you can yeah. design and print from pretty much push the button, the printer yeah. has it in their files. People wouldn't wonder, yeah. why, where's Morgan? Well, she's in class. She's you know? in she's class in, in Ann Arbor. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. yes, that's why I said, I'm like, you can't fit us in somewhere. So last night she left at like six in the morning, got home at 10 at night. So, you know, master's classes and labs. And so someday she'll be, I'm not even sure what she's yeah. gonna do. It's um, just environmental sustainability and development life of a uh, smart person. I exactly, yeah. yes. <laughs> Stephanie uh, Riggs, thank you so much. Oh, and thanks for having us. Yeah, um, thanks for um, our contributors, Val Herr, who's been with us since day one, and Megan Brent and Jean McKim. It's pretty cool. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Thanks so much. Stephanie Riggs here thanks, with us. Guys. More of the morning show right after this quick break. The PICK Center is an independent practice that has provided care to the Jackson area for over 25 years. Doctors O'Neill and CAC supervise antibiotic infusions, as well as those for many other conditions, such as inflammatory bowel, joint and lung disease, anemia, and multiple sclerosis. Our modern facility is open seven days a week and the infusion staff will make you feel right at home. Let your doctor know you have a choice where you receive your next infusion. Remember, when you've picked us, you've picked the best. The Enchanted Forest Bar and Grill has something for everyone. They offer a large menu with a variety of meals to choose from, including many Middle Eastern options, along with the everyday favorites. Enjoy live music and dancing, pool table, huge bar and large banquet hall, perfect for your next gathering, wedding reception, graduation party, and more. And don't miss Sunday brunch, 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Experience a great night out at the Enchanted Forest Bar and Grill, located at 3705 Ann Arbor Road in Jackson. Do you do landscaping? Yes, we do. Our landscaping is creative and innovative. We'll make sure your yard is beautiful. Do you do irrigation systems? Yes, our irrigation systems are top of the line and will be designed to fit your watering needs. What about lawn care? We do that too. Our lawn care services will continue to keep your yard healthy and help it grow. Wilcox Lawn and Landscaping, serving South Central Michigan since 1986. Our new Express Oil Changes and More building has been a huge success. Not only do we have the best oil change prices, we top off fluids and do a 33-point inspection. All while you enjoy fresh-baked cookies, coffee, and popcorn in our new lounge. This month is our Jeep Freedom Day sales event with special pricing on all new Jeeps. Stop out to Extreme Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Jackson, just off I-94, exit 141, or online at ExtremeDodge.com. Oh, yeah. Are you struggling with your mental health? We can help at Michigan Psychological Care, located in Jackson, Michigan. We are here to help strengthen your relationships, your interpersonal connections, and help you find yourself. With options of individual therapy, family and couples, group counseling, psychological evaluations, we are here to help with all your mental health needs. Contact us today to live the life you've always dreamed. Welcome back to the morning show. Remember the one chip challenge you did? I do. Yes. Uh, you can't do it anymore. What? Yes. They pulled it from retailers' shelves. <laughs> Someone died. You're shitting. Yeah. Well, you're, oh. you're serious? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, unfortunately. Unbelievable. They're not sure this was the reason. Serious? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. We have one upstairs. 
All don't right, so now we can't give them. If you have them, don't eat them. They're All right, not, fine. No, I'm going to throw it away. Too hot and spicy. All right, well, <laughs> shoot. 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 I think that's what you said. Shucks. Who's on the show tomorrow? Tomorrow we have <laughs> a great show. Stephanie Baker. She's the emergency preparedness coordinator for the Jackson County Health Department. <laughs> also, Jacob Innocencio and Leticia Albaran from the Jackson Hispanic Festival and Amanda and Briston Baum from Nevermore Decor. Later today, Father Chaz Kanoi, Kelly Schuberg, Aaron Bush, Ashley Moore, Kyle Wade, and Jan Rochford. We'll see you at one o'clock.